everyone, today I'm going to be doing a resin review on this brand of resin called Clearcast 7000 and I got it off of eBay. I will put the link to exactly where you can get it in the description box. But I got the 64 ounce kit because I think that is the smallest kit that they carry and it costs $28.88, that's without shipping. So it's fairly inexpensive considering the amount of resin you get, so it's a lot of resin. So I'm going to do a review slash demo and kind of go over the overview of this resin. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my two measuring cups here and I started measuring um, the liquids here or the resin here and I'm using this bottle. I actually transferred some of the resin into the smaller bottles with the nozzle so that's easier to pour and measure. And you can find these bottles in um, craft stores in the baking section or in kitchen supply store because these bottles are designed for um, sauces and um, dressings and things like that. But it works great for resin crafting because you can accurately measure their liquids. So I'm going to measure a total of two fluid ounces because that's what the instructions say um, they say that is a minimum amount minimum amount of liquids for the curing process to occur so which I think is kind of a lot because usually it's only one ounce but I'm just gonna follow the instructions for this demo and see what happens so now I'm measuring out the hardener to one fluid ounce make sure properly measured okay and then I'm going to dump both of the liquids in a bigger cup so here it goes the hardener Make sure I get everything out. Okay, and then the resin. Again, it's very warm today in Southern California. So my room is hot already especially with the studio light on. So we'll see how this goes. I don't want the resin to start curing on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing. And the consistency is very watery. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the hardener is very watery and the resin is slightly thicker. I'm getting some bubbles, but not a whole lot. It's definitely thin. So I'm going to mix until I see no swirls, scraping the sides of my cup and the bottom, and off of my stir stick to make sure I incorporate very well. So, so far I don't smell anything, no odor, no strong chemically odor, and very easy to mix since the viscosity is very low. And the instruction says here to um, mix it for 35, thir three, 3 to 5 minutes and then leave it for another 3 to 5 minutes so um, the bubbles can degas on its own. Okay, so it's been three minutes and I could see hardly any bubbles. There are some larger bubbles that I will go ahead and pop with a lighter. Um, I see some micro bubbles, but very minimal. And it's, I feel it's starting to get pretty warm, so I'm going to start pouring into my molds. So I'm going to pour into a plastic heart mold here and I'm going to make it pretty thick. 
And then on for this one, the silicone mold, I'm going to keep it thin. And I'm going to keep this one clear. I'm going to probably put glitter in there or do a glitter layer. And then I'm going to dome this mirror. So this resin is very liquidy, watery. So I don't know how it's going to work when it comes to doming. So I do see some micro bubbles here on the dome surface. So I'm going to run a lighter and get rid of them. And it seems like they're all gone. Okay. I'm going to do the same with these over here and here. I'm going to pour it into here for in the smaller cup. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit longer until it gets thicker a little bit and then try doming again another uh, piece of the mirror disc. Okay, so for the rest of the resin, I'm going to color it. So I'm going to put a couple drops of the white opaque pigment and a drop of transparent dye in here if I can get it out. Whoops, put too much. Okay. Well, it's going to be very dark. be super green. Okay, I think I'll pour in this silicone mold. Okay, so I pour into another mold here, silicone mold. Okay, so curing time for this resin, for two to three ounce of resin, should take about 12 to 16 hours for full cure, based on room temperature of 77 Fahrenheit. For small casting and thin coats, full cure is typically 24 hours. Okay, so this resin kind of thickened up a little bit, so I'm gonna dome this one and the cup is very hot. Not very, but it's pretty warm. So it's less runny now because I let it gel a little bit. So the dome will hold its shape and we'll have a fuller, rounder dome instead of a flat one. We're going to wait for these to cure after I put glitter on that one. Okay, you guys, so I try to put a sticker in here, a foil sticker, and look what happened. It literally melted the foil sticker. Wow. It's completely melted. Oh my god. And it's very sticky now. See, it's starting to cure now. Whoa, okay. What the heck? Oh my god, the mold is really hot. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. And look. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes since I mixed and poured this resin. And look, it's already dry. I can't even put a glitter layer there for the thicker heart. Okay, now the thinner one is still liquidy. But forget glitter layer on this one because it's already starting to cure and it's already gummy. Whoa, that's crazy. Ooh, and it's really hot. I hope it doesn't melt my mold. Ooh, it's hot, okay. Okay, so here are the pieces after 24 hours and um, this one was already cured like a while ago. It's really like rock hard, solid. Can't even bend it. It's very, very hard. Now let's take a look at the two dome pieces.
and compare the thickness because I did weight this one. I weighted for the resin to gel so it's thicker so the dome would be more full or more domed so you can tell that it's already thicker than the one on the right which on the right I domed right away but this one definitely thicker and fuller and they both cured pretty hard I mean I can still leave my nail mark on on these and then this one I tried the glitter layer but I just could not time it right um, so it didn't really work it it wasn't I guess I didn't do it soon enough so the glitter, glitter layer or the striped effect I was going for did not work um, but it's a fairly thin piece and it's pr pretty hard I mean there's some flexibility to it but it's definitely not like bendy bendy and these two are the pigmented one so these are more bendy I mean they're thinner too but they're more bendy so that's that's my so it cured um, pretty hard I mean there's some flexibility to it um, but there are hardly any micro bubbles on this one um, this one there are since I I think it's because I you know the, the resin was on the thicker side when I domed it but this one also there are hardly any uh, micro air bubbles there are some but hardly any so it's completely clear crystal clear and you can also tell by this is that it's completely clear this one also has very very little bubbles okay so here I have a couple pieces that I used a smaller batch um, I did a batch smaller less than the minimum amount I did about 20 milliliter total of two liquids so 10 mil each and I poured this a couple days ago and see how bendy it is it did not cure properly even the thicker piece here very bendy and gummy so you know you need to really mix the minimum amount for any brand of resin but uh, clear care 7000 seems to have a pretty high minimum amount of two to three ounce which to me is a lot because usually most brands are around one ounce so so that's something to keep in mind Thank you.